why are people so quick to cut off family ties? You are watching Hashtag with Saad Taslim. It's common that when a disagreement happens in a family or someone feels insulted or something or some type of conflict occurs in the family that people often rush to cutting off the ties that they have with one another. And subhanAllah, that is the absolute last thing that a person should ever think to do when they're having a problem with someone else. The Prophet wasallam said that a person who cuts off their family ties will not enter paradise. SubhanAllah, I know people often think that keeping family ties or holding on to family ties means that if somebody holds on to their family ties with you, that you reciprocate. That if they're good to you, you're good to them. If they call you, you call them. If they invite you over, you invite them over. And SubhanAllah, the Prophet Wasallam said that that is not what keeping family ties is. Keeping family ties is when somebody breaks their ties with you, somebody cuts you off, and you make a conscious effort and you try really, really hard to bring the family back together or to, or to fix the relationship that you have with this person. That is what the Prophet ﷺ defined holding on to family ties as. Lastly, sometimes we're, we're reluctant to try to make amends. We're reluctant to bring the family back together because we feel like we're admitting that we were wrong in a situation and we don't want to lose face. SubhanAllah, always remember that if you're the one making the effort to hold on to the family ties, to bring people together, that you're not just doing it for them. And you may not get rewarded in this life. They may not appreciate it. And you may lose face in this life. You're doing it for the akhirah. You're doing it because you want paradise. And you know this is one of the ways that you attain paradise. And you know that cutting off family ties is a severe sin. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshaAllah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.